Hello, welcome to today's video with me, Cambridge David. Today we're going to be listening to a candidate answering a part two question all about describing a traditional ceremony or festival. This is a very common topic in IELTS. Listen as the candidate answers and then see if you agree with my feedback at the end. Let's watch the video. In part two of the test, I'm going to give you a topic and I'd like you to talk about it for up to two minutes. Before you talk, you have one minute to think about what you're going to say and you can make some notes if you wish. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay. So here is your topic. And I'd like you to describe a traditional celebration, a festival or a ceremony in your country that you enjoy. And you have one minute to plan your answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so are you okay if I take the question away now? Yeah, no problem. Okay, there we go. Okay, so don't forget, you have up to two minutes for this, so don't worry if I stop you. Could you please start now, please? Yeah, so on a, a traditional celebration I'm gonna introduce is Spring Festival. I think the Spring Festival is the one of the major traditional festivals in China. Um, you know, uh, for the origin of this festival, there is a story that um, in the past, people were afraid of a beast called Nian. That's why they invented fireworks and uh, fireworks and crackers to 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 chase them away. But now we celebrate it um, by, you know, by by pro by feeding ourselves with delicacies and family members will gather around. So we call it a family reunion. Um, people like me, like me, because I am a migrational worker, we look forward for this we look forward to this festival all the time, you know, because in that time, it means that you can get together with your families, with your brothers, sisters, and parents. Uh, like who, as for who I celebrated with, yeah, definitely I celebrate this festival with my families, with my sisters, with my parents. Yeah. And, um, you know, apart from making delicacies like dumplings and, uh, you know, broiled fish, fish, etc. Uh, if we think we have time to travel, my family members will travel together during this festival because this is a time everyone have their days off. The reason why I enjoy it is that when spring festival comes, I can become a kid again. That means when I stay with my parents, I don't have to be, you know, have to don't have to be mature. I don't have to mm -hmm. care much about my work. Mm -hmm. okay. I, I can just Thank act you. like a kid at home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you very, very much. How long a holiday do you have for spring festival? Uh, seven to 10 days. Okay, that is a good a good length. Now, let me give you some feedback for your part two answer. Firstly, you had no problem at all filling the entire two minutes. You actually went on a little bit longer. And that mm -hmm. will really impress the examiner when it comes to your fluency score, that you had that ability to keep going and you clearly had sufficient language to talk for a lot longer. So your fluency was excellent there. You came out with a few examples of nice words, delicacies, for example, but I would have liked you to add something like that. 
to that. For example, um, we enjoy many delicacies such as mm. blah, 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 yeah. to give me an example of the kind of food that you were talking about. And overall, there were very, very few grammatical mistakes. Even though you produced a large quantity of language, almost all of it was accurate. And I suspect that the few mistakes you made were slips of the tongue. For example, you said, I celebrate with my families, plural. Now, presumably, you only have one family, but the family includes many people. And you said everyone have their day off, where, of course, everyone is regarded as a singular entity. Yeah. So everyone has. So I think they were just slips of the tongue. In terms of vocabulary, one important thing to remember is the definite article, the. And we use that whenever we specify the noun. So if we're talking about spring festival, you've told me which festival. So it needs the definite article. It's the spring festival, not the mid-autumn festival. The spring festival needs an article. And likewise, the origin of this festival, because you've told me which origin, origin of the festival. So you've defined it, therefore, the origin of. But overall, that was a good, solid performance on part two. As an examiner, I'm now moving you up from that 6.5, and I'm thinking this candidate is probably a better fit for the band seven. Okay. So what do you think? Do you agree with my feedback? Please let me know in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you soon on another video with me, Cambridge David.